All our thoughts remain with Sarah Everard's family and friends. Her murderer, whose name I will not repeat, was a monster. His explicit intention was to instill fear and terror into women and girls. I say this as Home Secretary, but also as a woman, that such unconscionable crimes and acts of violence against women and girls have no place in our society. <laughs> Recent tragic events have exposed unimaginable failures in policing. It is abhorrent that a serving police officer was able to abuse his position of power, authority and trust to commit such a horrific crime. The public have a right to know what systematic failures enabled his continued employment as a police officer. We need answers as to why this was allowed to happen. I can confirm today that there will be an inquiry to give the independent oversight needed to ensure that something like this can never happen again. And it is because of our commitment to put in the needs of the hard-working, often silent majority first, that I will not tolerate the so-called eco-warriors trampling over our way of life and draining police resources. Their actions, their actions over recent weeks have amounted to some of the most self-defeating environmental protests that this country has ever seen. The freedom to protest is a fundamental right our party will forever fight to uphold, but it must be within the law. Measures already going through Parliament will ensure that these criminals can be brought to justice for the disruption that they are causing. But we are going to go further to close down the legal loopholes exploited by these offenders. So today I can announce that we will also increase the maximum penalties for disrupting a motorway, criminalise interference with key infrastructure such as roads, railways and our free press, and give the police and the courts new powers to deliver so that they can deal with the small minority of offenders intent on travelling around the country, causing disruption and misery to our communities. This Conservative government is taking the tough decisions needed to cut crime and make our streets safe.